What's happening guys? Today I'd like to talk to you about malware. Malware, short for malicious software, is programming designed to disrupt or deny operation, gather information that leads to the loss of privacy and exportation. Blah, 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 blah. You don't need to know that. What you need to know is how to make sure you don't get malware, how to know what it is and how to stay away from it. So in this video, I'll be telling you everything you need to know to make sure you don't get malware, you're protected, and your computer is yours. So let's dive in and get you started. Now, different forms of malware can be viruses, spyware, adware, rootkits, crimeware, worms, trojans, and examples of what you might see in your computer if you have malware would be if you have ads pop up randomly. That might be something similar looking to this. And another way to find out if you have malware, if you're suspicious of malware, is you can simply view the processes running on your computer, control, shift, escape, if I see a process that's eating up a lot of memory or I just don't recognize the name of it, then I can search for that one, find out whether or not it is malware. So a good example of this is if, let's say for instance, I didn't know what fsui.exe is. Well, if I just look here on the right, it's the Windows Live Family Safety Filter. Although if I didn't know what mom.exe is, this is a really simple one. I look on the right and it says Catalyst Control Center Monitoring Program. Now, let's say that's still not enough information for me to really realize what that program is. So. I can simply pull up my web browser, Google or whatever your preference of web browser is, and we'll put a parentheses, do mom.exe, and this just simply means we will search for that exact text and no variance of it. And let's take a look at mom.exe, what is this? And mom.exe is Catalyst Control Center for Monitoring Program from ATI Technologies. And there we go, ATI is the manufacturer of my video card, so this is for my video card. Now, a lot of processes can also be uh, hijacked per se, where it'll be a legitimate program that'll be also running malicious software. So, now to make sure you don't have any malware, you can use an anti-malware program. Almost all the programs that are out these days simply are blanket computer software programs. So, whether it be PandaCloud, Antivirus, or Malwarebytes, or Norton, or um, any, any antivirus you have, more than likely all of those will cover quite a few topics. So. And I'll take a look at what it covers and what it looks for. So we have viruses, worms, trojans, spyware, specific, suspicious items, adware, dialers, jokes, and others. So this program covers quite a bit. Now, now we have the program here, Malware Bytes. And Malware Bytes gained a lot of its popularity by its ability to find malware that other programs were not able to. And if you're looking for Malware Bytes, make sure you're looking for M-A-L-W-A-R-E-B-Y-T-E-S as in malware and then computer byte like B Y T E S. So malware bytes is a good program just to clean your system. Although if you take a look here at the free version, we don't have real time protection. We just we were able to scan and remove. So these are all things to take note of. Now you know about malware and I'll be showing you how to remove it completely from your system in one of the following lessons. All right guys, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed. All right guys, and just a reminder, this video is one step in the process of elimination to finding out why your PC is running so slow. So if you just stumbled upon this video, you might want to go to step one, and that'll be in the description of this video. And remember guys, you can send any of your problems to me for viruses, spyware, and PC performance that I haven't covered in this series. Just send those to requests at mahalo.com, and remember, only you can prevent spyware, viruses, and all that bad stuff on the internet.